52% of Americans report either suffering from anxiety on a daily basis or having suffered from anxiety at some point in their lifetime. I'm gonna to prove to you right now that anxiety is not coming from your outside environment. So here's how anxiety works. If you or someone you know has anxiety, I want you to ask them these three questions and this will prove that it's not coming from your outside environment. Number one, have you had anxiety on and off throughout your entire lifetime? Usually the answer is yes, because it's a gene mutation. I'm gonna to get to that in a second. Number two, can you point to the specific trigger that causes it? Most of the time they will say no. I can wake up in the morning with anxiety. I can be driving home from work on an otherwise innocuous day and I can be overwhelmed by anxiety. If that happens, it's not coming from your outside environment. It's not coming from what we call a cluster of symptoms. Abraham Lincoln was diagnosed 150 years ago with depression by a cluster of symptoms. We use the same diagnosis today to diagnose people with anxiety and depression. The third thing I want you to ask them is, do anti-anxiety medications work? And they will say no, they make me feel like a zombie. Because anxiety is coming from your physiology, right? If you can't lower a compound in the human body called homocysteine, it's the most inflammatory compound in the human body. If you can't lower this compound, then you get anxiety. And this is why your anxiety is not triggered. Because when you wake up in the morning, your homocysteine level is high, anxiety is high. It has nothing to do with your outside environment. This is fixable. There is a cheek swab that we do. We take a Q-tip, we rub it on the inside of your cheek. And in two weeks, the information comes back from the lab and it tells us exactly what gene is broken and how to supplement for it so that anxiety eviscerates. Recently did this with Bella Hadid. And when she came to us, we put her on a vitamin and amino acid protocol and she hasn't had an anxiety attack in almost four months. Right? And I wanna do that for you guys as well.